Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back after a very lengthy absence. Um, but one of my goals has been to reach worlds. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, you should know that. And we finally managed to do it this year. So we're going to be covering the games at worlds and we're going to be going through some of them today. So we're going to get into that in a second. But first off, I just want to give a shout out to today's sponsor. Alright guys, so today's sponsor is Rocket League Sideswipe. Sideswipe is the mobile version of the hit game Rocket League. It has fast paced 1v1 or 2v2 gameplay. I played a ton of Rocket League back in the day and guys I can tell you that this game is legit and obviously we're huge fans of mobile games here. So you can grind your rank online, try to get that high leaderboard score to show off to your friends, or you guys can just play casual private matches together, have some fun in there. There's also a tons of customization that you can unlock just by playing. There are thousands of options that you can mix and match, cars, wheels, decals, and more. Whatever you're driving, it'll be completely your own. In addition to 1v1 and 2v2, there's also a hoops mode, uh, training, and offline play. And guys, all of this is just the beginning of what you can do in Rocket League Sideswipe. Do me a favor, check out my description below and download the game. Let me know what you guys think of it. Also, I just want to give a huge shout out once again to Rocket League Sideswipe for sponsoring today's video. Alright guys, that's it for the sponsor. Uh, let's get into the Worlds games. So we are getting right into it. So this is actually the second match. The first one had to be remade because there was a lot of lag. Uh, Zara couldn't move for a large portion of the game even this game at one point You'll see I was lagging a lot and I'll just like start shooting randomly, but uh, we had the lead So I didn't want to call it out and get another redo um, And yeah, you can see our comp is buzz double thrower. So buzz super meta at world. It's a Pretty picker ban in my opinion and a lot of teams did ban it But uh, we let Bobby just pop off on buzz a little bit So I'm gonna be tossing that sprout wall over on the left side just to delay Scythe a little bit and he, Scythe has to make the first move and we can just count on Bobby kind of outplaying him. I think Me and Zara keeping uh, the Lola and Griff back Lola is also really broken and was super broken at Worlds, uh, but Double Thrower is pretty good into her. Uh, so you can see Bobby makes the first move there, and he just manages to get both of them. I get Lola one shot, and Bobby's just there to finish it off with the auto attack. And yeah, we're looking really good so far. So we did manage to scare the first and the second bot, but uh, you can see we didn't do a ton of damage. Their defense is actually pretty decent. Griff and Lola have really high DPS. But uh, I'm just going to throw my wall out for Zara so he can just get as close as possible, get a few chip shots off, and I'm going to pop my uh, gadget just to get my wall back because we really want this last bot. We don't have enough to defend in my opinion. Even though we have Sprout defense, if Lola gets super and uh, Griff gets situated as well, uh, I do get taken out there, but I did manage to trade with the Griff and get the Lola pretty low, but we do have the lead, which is really good. So at this point, you only have to control like mid and right side and just pick up as many as you can. Uh, this game's looking pretty good for us. Bobby's played really well. I think this is a really clean game from uh, my team in general. So we did manage to secure every uh, every siege push and yeah we're gonna be looking to just finish it off and keep it going into the second game of siege. So we're just gonna go in here and get Zar unsafe. Just gonna super that because why not? We already won the game and yeah gonna be hopping into game number two. Alright guys, so gaming going into game number two. So we predicted they were going to go the wall break comp again, or a variation of it. So they have the Primo, primo uh, Meteorite and uh, the Griff wall break. So I actually think the right move for them is to not even break any walls because we anticipated this. So we went a comp that's very good on an open map. We have Lola and Bell. So Bell is really good into Lola because uh, you can just bounce your regular shot off of her clone if she gets it and uh it'll just like pretty much take out the ego by itself and griff is not really the best into our comp it's okay into buzz but uh lola and bell definitely have the advantage in the match matchups versus griff so i think we definitely got them with a really good outcome here uh it was something that we planned out to do prior to the match starting with our like scouting and stuff um, and you know, it turned out really well. So 
I am gonna get my ego and just uh, focus on taking response out and uh, you know I don't want to give him super if I can avoid it so he's gonna hit my ego which gives him no supercharge because it's not me uh, he will pick up his ego there at the end but it's looking really good for us uh, we could probably finish here we have really good offense Bobby's got super and I have my super now as well so I'm just gonna throw my ego onto safe and just kind of like pepper away at it just uh, try finishing here. It doesn't need to go any longer than this. And Lola just does so much damage. So we're going to sweep Siege. Even though the first game, it's kind of weird because it was a remake, but Zark can play half the game. So, you know, I think it's fair that it was a remake. Just kind of unfortunate for uh, Flash. All right, guys. So set number two is going to be on Hot Potato. So our maps uh, were pretty similar in round two as well. No spoiler. But um, we're going to be going with Lola, Dog, and Buzz, uh, we saw they played a lot of Edgar, so we wanted a comp that's pretty decent to Edgar, and you know, the Edgar can kind of trade with the dog like that, but he's just giving him super as well. So eventually we'll just outscale, and if Edgar jumps on me, I think I can just one-shot it, especially if I'm powered up. So Zara's gonna do a really good job. I'm just gonna pop my gadget and get some shots off on safe. Get a nice early lead there as well. And I'm all powered up, so Bobby is gonna go down, but it's looking like a really good start from us, honestly, because with their comp, I feel like they need to have a really good early start, get position with the Edgar, and just kind of like try snowballing from there. But we're kind of just hanging out. We have like dog and we're just gonna outscale. So we just have to play it slow and steady and just kind of wait for our power-ups to come online. So Bobby's gonna go in, he'll take out response, and you see Scythe is just gonna jump right in on me and Zar. We'll just instantly like take him out get some really good damage on safe their safe's already at 56 percent uh they haven't really crossed the midway point <sighs> so i think we have a really good comp uh into theirs again and we kind of knew they would go for an edgar like i said so we picked something that we think could do pretty decent into it so bobby's gonna do a really good job going in there take them all out uh i should probably just kill sight there that's kind of troll for me uh, but I think maybe I go down anyway, so I was just trying to get damage on the safe But I definitely can kill sight there at least so I probably should just like try killing him uh, But Zara's gonna get me all powered up again, and I'll take out Scythe when he goes in I think so as long as we don't let him just like free hit the safe at this point We're in a pretty good spot Bobby has super 2. They don't really have a good way of dealing with it. So um, it's really dangerous for them and Yeah Lola's gonna get her super but Bobby's gonna be patient and just wait it out and take her out right away and it's just the Byron alive at this point Bobby's gonna take him out for good measures and I think we just try finishing it we probably can't but uh pretty convincing win in my opinion and yeah we get the safe down to nine percent and that's gonna be game number one of heist all right guys so game number two of heist they went for the barley which I think is a pretty good adaptation from them uh once we get that wall broken open it is gonna be pretty good for us and if bobby can get on the barley it's also gonna be really good too as well um so you can see bobby going through for the lola kind of whiffs it but that's okay he just has to back off and we can kind of cover him a little bit uh so they're getting a pretty good start off this game honestly they're getting a lot of pressure and bobby missing the super was a uh, pretty unfortunate for us as well but i will pick up my super there and uh, Zara does get his super as well, which is going to really open up the map. And it's kind of the same idea as last one, where we just kind of outscale them. Um, so Bobby's going to go in on response, and Scythe is going to go in on Zara for whatever reason. That's a little troll there. And I'll take out response's ego. And, you know, we have pretty decent mid control. So I do want to look to chip the safe whenever I can at this point. But I also want to make sure that uh, we're getting kills and I'm supporting Bobby when he goes in because it's kind of like team wise like really nice super from Bobby there as well just knowing his character's limits and even though he's low HP it just allows us to have like so much control on the map. So I just dropped my uh, gadget there because I don't want to get buzz supered so it kind of like just it's a risk prevention I guess uh, and Scythe is going to go in on Bobby so the interaction there is Bobby goes in on their carry and we kill the carry and then the buzz should be looking to go in on me in my opinion but it goes in on Bobby so then I can just uh, kind of kill their buzz as well and get some shots off on safe so you'll see that again too I think that's one uh, misplay they were doing just focusing on Bobby too much when he's like obviously he's a threat but 
He's not the one that's going to do damage to the safe. So, uh, Zargut's taking out pretty low, but at this point, they have to play into us, so I can just kind of, like, laser them when they're, like, trying to push up. Bobby's going to get his super, and you'll just see one more time. He goes in on their carry. Scythe finally does, uh, in my opinion, the right play. Goes for me, almost takes me out, but I think at that point, it's just a little too late, and we're just going to look to finish it. So, I'll drop my ego, get as much damage as possible. Bobby's just going to go, like, try getting star player or something, and we will take the high up. Alright guys, so now we are on to uh, set number three. It is Layer Cake in Bounty. And yeah, so our first comp is going to be Max, Dog, and Gene. They also went with a Max Gene uh, comp, but they have a Rosa instead, which I think is good too. Um, it's more like just about who kind of can make the correct play. Because I think it's like a lot of like micro interactions with comps like these. Uh, so... One thing that we have going is their gene, it's going to be really hard for him to hit a pull uh, when they do max speed or we max speed, but etc. Because I should be at the front and just drop my bags down as soon as I see there's like a risk of gene pull. And that should just kind of like hinder it. So you can see I put my bags down a little early there, I think, but we still have one blocking it. And I'll just drop my bags down there again. Otherwise, 100%, I think the gene can just auto aim a pull. And, you know, we're still scaling because I am running the dog with uh, the HP increase. So we did manage to get a kill on the Rosa. The kills on Zara, which definitely the best player to have it, just because uh, they do have a gene and Zara can gadget. So I will get my first power up there. We're going to give it to Bobby, uh, just because he gets a lot of poke. And their gene is going to miss a pull. So that's going to be pretty huge for us. Uh, gives us a lot more time to just kind of like scale. And but yeah, their gene is going to miss a pull. And it's going to give us a lot more time to scale. They're running out of time. There's 40 seconds left. And their gene is not close to pull. So I'm saying just stand behind here. That way the gene doesn't get pull. Doesn't get any value. Uh, if they make a play, we'll see it coming. And Bobby can just pull. Just got to be careful because they will be sped up. But we can pull anyone on their team. Realistically, Bobby's going to miss the pull. A little unlucky. Um, but yeah, we do have a ton of DPS because I got everyone powered up at this point. So I don't think their gene's very close. If he is, I think I have one more bag. So we got to focus the Rosa here. And Zara's doing a really good job 1v2ing. Bobby hits a really nice pull there. Rosa will get super, but uh, their gene gets super as well. But we're all sped up and, you know, they're running out of time. We're all powered up. And yeah, we are going to take game number one of Bounty. All right, guys, game number two of Bounty. So I'm not really a huge fan of our comp. Honestly, our comp was supposed to be different. Uh, we just kind of changed last minute. So uh, what like we were thinking of going was Buzz, Byron, Lola, because we thought they might go tanks. Um, and I think that comp would honestly be a lot better. Uh, this comp's okay. It's just like the tick. It's not like if we have Buzz into double thrower and Rico, uh, we just win, by the way. So I'll get a solo killer on the Rico there. I knew he was going to push up, so I just kind of like anticipated it and cut him off. And, you know, we're off to a really good start here as well. So we are going to get pushed in. And unfortunately, I do go down. Some nice shots from response there. Uh, you know, I was just out of position, I guess. I was. Uh, just caught out but we do have the lead still and i'm gonna try doing uh what happened the first time where i just caught the rico out but or like anyone to be honest because zara should be able to like just not die mid um and response is gonna push him up bobby's in a lose losing matchup as well though so i'm just kind of hoping someone comes to my side or just oversteps in mid and i can just laser them and we'll all be able to pinch so i see the rico coming to my side and i want to try catching him out again he probably has some idea that i'm here and unfortunately i do get hit there and i'm in a really awkward spot but i do manage to dodge the super and uh just kind of like wait it out a little bit and we still have our lead here so i do want to get my super if possible and 25 seconds left. I'm calling out for some heals. Uh, unfortunately, Zar does run into the tickhead. I think she just run away there and it knocks him into a tick mine and they will get the lead. So uh, it's going to be really hard for us to do anything here because we're playing into double thrower and I think I might manage to get a kill. Yeah, so I'll take out CZK, but I'll go down and uh, we all kind of just got wiped at the end. So not a huge fan of our comp. I think uh, if we go buzz, it's kind of free, but uh, we will lose the first game. Alright guys, so game number three, they are going to go back to a Max and Rosa comp, and you can see Zar, he just manages to get away, response tried uh, 
gadgeting early too for just for the blue star the blue star is really nice to have in bounty and i am playing screeching and solo poco so uh they're grouping up pretty nice for me and we are going to get pinched i do chain my super unfortunately but uh it's not going to be enough bobby is going to be able to take out response though and hang on to his pull so it's looking it's a good start for us honestly we have to play aggro with this comp bobby's going to get sped up hit a free pull on the poco and yeah it's a really good start for us we just have to be careful of the rosa getting a flank because we don't really have uh the best way to deal with the rosa it's just kind of like all of us like poking her down before she gets in position hitting her shot etc um but yeah she does have her super so we have to be careful of that and we are gonna max speed and just kind of look for a pull but the rosa pops her super really early early so bobby is able to knock her back and I think he can just pull whoever here. Yeah, so he will pull the Rosa. It gets a good poke heal, but it's not going to be enough. We do have the damage to take it out. And we're looking pretty healthy at the end of the play. And yeah, the Rosa got zero value back on her super. So she definitely popped it too early. And, uh, you know, we are able to kind of just get away with that play. So I get them pretty low. Just they're running into my shots. And I will get Screeching Solo off on the Rosa. Take that out. And yeah, they have to get a really good flank or something right now, in my opinion. So I think just like a flank with a nice poke heal is their win con at this point. But, uh, you know, I, you can see me going on the Rosa. I'm just trying to like chip her down, like I said, before uh, she gets in a really threatening position. Because we don't want to get team wiped. We will lose if we get team wiped at this point. Uh, they have enough stars to catch us. If we do, I'll die. Bobby is going to pull the Rosa and I'll take him out. And yeah, Screeching Solo is kind of broken. So we do manage to take them out there and uh, win our first series at Worlds against Team Flash. Alright guys, so just once again, want to give a huge shout out to uh, Rocket League Sideswipe for sponsoring this video. Definitely go check it out, I'll post the ad in my description, and I'll be doing another video on the game as well. I think it's a ton of fun, and you guys should definitely go check it out and download it ASAP. But yeah guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the games from Worlds. We're going to be going over the Totem ones in the next video, and I think there's a lot to learn from that series. I don't think we played the best, but um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the videos, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.